soft language, euphemistic language, language with uh, dual meanings or many meanings. <laughs> the joke has been on us and still is. The joke's on us. I can see them sitting back and saying, let's see now, what can we call this? How can we word this for these dum-dums? And we'll just laugh at their asses. <laughs> When they don't know what these words mean, they don't know what we're talking about, but they'll figure it out later as they suffer. So, we've heard stuff about crickets in the food. And it says, European Union elites sneak crickets and mealworms into food. They're sneaking it in. Oh, okay. We found out they done snuck it in. So now they're telling us about crickets and making cricket food and how great it is. Come to find out, it's been in our food. <laughs> oh, wow, the joke's on us. Okay, food made from crushed chickens. I mean, excuse me, <laughs> get my glasses on here. <clears throat> crushed crickets. They're good for you. Guess what, guys? And it's in the news. Woohoo! Ground up crickets used to make super healthy high protein. Get that in your shake. High protein shakes. <laughs> protein bars made from the ground up crickets has gone on sale. <laughs> 40 uh, crickets go into every EXO bar. EXO. What's that mean? It X you out? <laughs> They're in the process of Xing your ass out. Their makers say they have an extremely high protein. Wow. Are you ready for protein bars made from crickets? Facts about crickets. How to Now we get to the real deal. How to get rid of crickets. I guess we should just go collect them up and grind them up in our shake. Maybe that would work. Crickets love molasses and they'll hop into the bowl when they smell it. Wow. Chemical cricket bait is sold in hardware stores. The unbelievable ways that crickets are showing up in your food. Dried crickets. They emit a hundred times fewer greenhouse gases than cattle and raising a pound of crickets requires one gallon of water and two pounds of feed, while raising a pound of beef requires 2,000 gallons and of water and a, who knows how many gazillion pounds of feed. So crickets are the best bet, guys. Yeah, they're showing us that crickets are just, woo-hoo, what they call that, environmentally friendly, or what was that they said? Oh, they have fewer greenhouse gases. Uh-huh. Do they fart? Oh, maybe not. Maybe that's it. But they're full of parasites, from what I've read. Just full of parasites. So we're eating a parasitical uh, bomb, ready to explode in your intestinal tract. Good luck. Spice mixtures contain crickets. Boise's native award winning. Wow. -e -e. That's coming close to home, you guys. She won the competition because she's got uh, crickets in her spices, this native woman. Oh, I bet. Cricket flour, how to make it. Ground crickets. House cricket information to get rid of them. Those motherfuckers in Florida ate my shirts out of their laundry basket and stuff like that. Crickets, yeah. I like to hear them outside croaking around. But do I want them in my house or in my food? Uh-uh. Uh, they have cricket matches. Wow, a cricket field and they have cricket matches. It's a sport, guys, in Sydney. <laughs> it's a sport. Wow. Cricket care sheet, Fluker Farms. Flukes, okay. 
Yikes, it's sounding dangerous. Cricket from the ground up on Facebook. Cricket's Tavern. Okay, that's more like it. Yeah, so... Yeah, the joke's on us. Show on off is... Uh-huh. Snacking around. We better start figuring out what these words mean and what the euphemisms mean and what they're showing us, I guess. Then what are we going to do? Hell, hell if I know. No place to run, no place to hide, but I sure don't want to eat any crickets. We better find out what they're in that we're eating, I guess. Hmm.